welcome back to my channel today I wanted to quickly show you my Easter tablescape for this year as you can see yellow is the main color I'm using and I also have pops of gold and white and I absolutely of course love it I am loving that yellow for my centerpiece I'm using this beautiful wire basket of yellow tulips from Walmart the basket was only $4.97 and each bouquet of tulips $0.97. Cents. Now let's talk about the candles, which I tweaked a little bit. Here I have this pillar candle holder from Dollar Tree. It was originally black or a chalky black and I painted it a gloss white. Look how great it looks. I love it. And it's holding a standard vase from Dollar Tree and a pillar candle from Walmart. I'm also using votive candles with moss because I have to have moss for Easter. I will have moss with everything, I'm not gonna lie. I love moss. Did I say I love moss? I love moss. And this is very easy to make. Basically, what I did here, I just applied my Podge to the votive candle and then I rolled it in moss, <laughs> pretty much. Very easy. I also have a few decorative plastic eggs that I painted in gold and yellow and they are scattered all around the table. The table setting consists of a gold charger, a white dinner plate, a matching salad plate, and a bunny paper plate from Walmart that I added as decoration and will later on be used for dessert. This is also an alternative to use in case you don't wanna buy expensive china or dishes. Just something cute and inexpensive to do for any holiday. Also have wine glasses with gold rims from Dollar Tree, gold silverware, and a yellow tulip to finish up and polish the look. And right on top of our liquor cart that we never use is a Happy Easter sign that I made out of moss of course and this is a distressed picture frame from Dollar Tree well I made it out of a frame from Dollar Tree this is actually part of a quick and easy project that I did a couple of weeks ago I will attach the uh, link at the end of this video so if you want to make it you can make it or watch the video and right behind the frame, I have a couple of extra eggs that I had left over. And I just placed it in a jar. I usually have corks in there. For my buffet table, I'm also displaying candles. Here are the bodies with moss. And then I have a couple of taller pillar candle holders that I got from a thrift store some time ago. I believe it was from Goodwill. It's been a while. And they are also holding standard vases from Dollar Tree and pillar candles from Walmart. And then I have this very cute plant here. It's a bunny with a basket holding a couple of daisies. So cute. And I got this from my local grocery store. I love it and take a look at my cake I love this so cute this is my peep cake <laughs> peeps cake um, this is pretty much a standard cake that I get from my grocery store and I get it all the time and I just you know decorate it in any way I want so for Easter it was very appropriate to make it a peeps cake right peeps right <laughs> I'm crazy don't pay me any mind and then I have some extra plates for dessert 
and some family photos. This is my beautiful daughter. She's not that little anymore, she's 15. <laughs> and here we are. We need to take new pictures for sure. All right, so let me show you the whole thing now. Here we go. Okay guys, this is it. This is my Easter tablescape for 2018 and it is simple but very adorable. That's what I like about it. I like the simplicity of it and we have plenty and plenty of room for food. I usually pack it up but not this time. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoy and until next time, bye.